Uh, thank you, everyone, for coming. What a, I'm so glad that you could come out for uh, literature and life and some laughter and all the things in between. I just wanted to say, um, personally, I've been on sabbatical, but I wanted to take just a moment to acknowledge um, the work that Lisa has done on this issue, um, which I think is excellent. Um, and more broadly, I just wanted to take a, a moment in 2020 to say that we have some of the greatest staff that are working on LPR, and I want to particularly acknowledge the women um, who work for our staff, on our board, on our um, contributing editors, because I know that that work often goes unacknowledged. Um, and it, it would be remiss, even in a sabbatical, not to say that I, I remember when Desiree and I were carrying books to AWP through the streets of DC and nobody was helping us. <laughs> I, uh, I remember having conversations where I messed up and had to apologize for things that I left off that we got corrected. Um, I think of two quotes, one by em Emily Dickinson that says, tell all the truth but tell it slant. The women of LPR help us to tell the truth and tell it slant and make it beautiful. And I think of another quote by the late Toni Morrison that says, I didn't fall in love, I rose in it. The women of LPR help us to rise in love. Thank you, thank you. I could not exhaust the thank yous for all that you have done. So I just wanted to say that. Thank you all for coming out and let that be a coda for your evening. Go out and thank somebody. <laughs>